Hello folks, I'm back again. This time from the house of Hermes and the fragrance is called Voyage and this is the perfume concentration or perfume version. Now this fragrance has some buzz in the community. Um, it's not overly hyped or hyped fragrance but let's put it this way it is kind of popular on the popular side uh, same time it is very well received in the community uh, if you go to YouTube you can see some uh, handful of reviews for it um, and then if you go online Fragrantica or other um, forums you can see that there are a lot of people commented on it and I have not seen any bad comment for it and of course I can understand there is a reason, reason for it so it is actually my initial thoughts on it um, uh, I tested this fragrance in February last February um, and when I tested this fragrance it kind of reminded me of Ted Hermes um, in the opening which is strange because one can relate because the perfumer uh, perfumer are same uh, John Claude Elena but the dry down was very milky and sandalwood that's what I remember and after fast forward after f six months seven months I was able to score a bottle of it it's a tester bottle I bought it's very slightly used and um, trust me I pay like peanuts for this uh, for this unit um, so now it's uh, well I did not purchase it then because I was really I was not really after it um, I bought that day I remember I tested also Shampaka Absolute from Tom Ford which for me was very feminine in the opening but the dry down was very good like Gourmand but I really I was really after Tom Ford London uh, which is another masterpiece and a gem uh, from the private blend and I purchased that uh, fragrance that day and I did not bought this one but nevertheless this fragrance did left some impression on me so I was hunting for it and then like I mentioned before finally I uh, got it so if you go to Hermes website uh, they say that it's um, it's a uh, it's a woody ambery fragrance with juniper berries and milky sandalwood but if you go to Fragrantica, uh, there's a big contradiction because that there they say it's a it has a cardamom and it is known to be a very cardamom uh, it's a cardamom bomb actually they say, and people also say that there is a lemon, there is a tea, there is a rose, you know some added notes over there, which is a possibility. Of course, uh, companies would not tell all the notes. So what is my expectation from this fragrance? Um, I don't. I'm. I, I would be honest. I'm not a huge fan of cardamom note. Uh, but if it gives me juniper berry, juniper berries, I'm a huge fan of sandalwood. If it gives me the sandalwood and if it uh, gives me the tea note, um, then I'll be more than happy. Uh, it is known also to have similarities with the Bulgari Porom Extreme. Uh, people have compared it with the uh, Cartier Declaration also. So, um, like I said, it's a very well received uh, fragrance in the community. So, uh, as I mentioned in my um, from the start when I started the video, that it's actually my initial thought. So, I sprayed yesterday also. The dry down is here because usually the dry down, um, when you do initial thoughts or initial thoughts or um, first impressions you cannot tell much about the fragrance and uh, just it is for the disclaimers uh, purpose uh, I am still not really able to judge this fragrance because it's very early for me to tell I have not still able to register the notes um, today I'm going to give it a full wearing yesterday I did one spray only for the dry down and day before six months back I tested this fragrance so I will do a second install uh, installment on it uh, where after two three seasons of using it I would be able to give my full and final thoughts it's just my still initial uh, thoughts so I have a dry down already okay so let's start with the with the fresh spray so here we go Okay, two good spray by the way this bottle actually um, it's a magnifying glass 
Okay, I can smell it from here. Okay, what do I get in the air? Okay, there's still freshness to it. However, if you see from MS website, they are not telling any more freshness in it. Um, they are not mentioning anything about um, lemon freshness. But if you talk about the EDT version of this one, it clearly stated that there is a freshness to it. And I can see that usually when you talk about perform uh, concentration, it's they are amp uh, amplifying the notes. Okay. I can see that in the opening, there is definitely lemon citrusy for sure okay the cardamom is really popping up now okay so so far so so far the opening i can see that there is a lemony aspect to it but lemon it's not like very um, Lemon is giving that fresh value to it, but it's not very bright or usually lemon we can associate usually associate with cleaning products. I don't see it anything like cleaning products. Um, it's very much it is giving that fresh vibe, but it's not really taking over everything. It's very well mixed with the cardamom. OK, so let it sit for a while. Um, on the other hand, uh, I, I've also seen that there is a three uh, uh, three sizes now. Um, I think uh, 100 ml is not there anymore. Uh, it's now uh, 120 ml, which is refill refillable bottle. And then there is, um, I think now they're doing 150 or 200 ml also. Prices are going really high. I've seen 174 dollars now. And if you are lucky enough to get, I have seen it on discounters also, but that is like about um, 80, 70 dollar you can score this bottle okay so let's see now if any development is there okay um sandalwood is coming now so so far lemon lemony filling so far cardamom and sandalwood now this three combination it has some i can see that some resemblance to cartier declaration the og okay honestly i have not given it wearings but i have tested it few times um i don't know for maybe it's very classic for me uh, that's why I don't own it but maybe if I get a very nice deal on it I will sure look for it am I able to get any T note or I don't know I don't think there is a T feeling to it but you know what with the combination of okay with the combination of that slightly citrusy lemon cardamom and sandalwood it is also giving me a vibe of uh, like a tea like quality because the sandalwood here it's very milky and sweet this is what even the website says Hermes website says and I, I can see that uh, at the dry down which I'll talk about in a while that uh, it do get really milky and sandalwood the more fragrances the fragrance progress so I can clearly see that it, it is giving me that vibe of uh, chai, the tea famous for the subcontinent. I'm talking about Pakistan, India and Bangladesh where we cook uh, our tea in the milk and you know we put cardamom and other spices. Um, it's a very famous tea by the way, especially in the Middle East. So, so yeah, it has that feeling to it. Um, so far, uh, so good this fragrance really uh, I can see that it's really uh, standing out. Uh, there is a unique value to it. I can see why it has been really appreciated in the community. There is a, um, it has a unique factor to it, but same time it's very wearable. I cannot really wait now um, actually to uh, wear it. It's going to be my scent of the day. So yeah, lemony, uh, cardamom, and sandalwood so let's see now at the dry down this is the dry down i have here this is from yesterday uh, last night not really last night i think i sprayed like 1 or 12 in the morning and uh, till to when i was up like 6 7 o'clock so i can see that it was quite active on the on the on this piece of paper so let's see 
okay because i have uh, tested the fresh spray so it, the fresh notes uh, fresh uh, fresh notes freshly sp uh, sprayed notes i have really taken over my nose so i can really cannot really pick up on the dry down because in the morning i was very easily was a really uh, easily available uh, sorry uh, i was easily able to pick it up okay now i can see now the dry down in the dry down it becomes more creamier okay let's put it this way let's yeah so now this is okay let's take away the dry down because now what i've noticed now the initial uh, the this the fresh spray is getting more creamier yeah this is become more very creamy the creaminess is taking over kind of everything it's like when we talk about the thing you know if, if i have to objectify it was a tea uh, just while ago but now since the creaminess is taking over everything so other notes are going has been pushed behind and creaminess the sandalwood is taking over everything and it kind of reminded me of you know that nivea cream um if you if you know that creaminess come from the nivea this is what i feel so let's talk about the dry down again because when i smelled the dry down in the morning i was able to pick up few things i am not able to do it now because like i mentioned due to uh, freshly sprayed okay now i get it the dry down i can see that creaminess has been joined now creaminess has gone little uh, little below little less and there is a woodier aspect to it now and slightly let's say slightly ambery also um, i'm not saying that i i'm really able to pick amber but it's becoming bit woodier and slightly ambier um, ambery so you can see that woodier and that creamier aspect is bit prominent at the dry down and for some reason it reminded me of two fragrances first one is bulgari man in black because that is also known to be very spicy and woodier like at the dry down you can say a very fresher version of man in black against my initial thought and it also reminded me of fragrance from the house of bulgari again which is blv the blue bottle um i have not used it used that bottle uh, or that perfume uh, but i know someone who used to wear it so i have very uh, so whenever that guy used to pass me so i can really tell that because that also to me smell like this very creamier nivea cream like quality to it so the dry down yeah dry down become uh, slightly sweeter because i think that is coming from the am amber and then it becomes more woodier so that lemony cardamom and sandalwood has gone dial down a lot slightly uh, woodier and slightly ambery so for me it becomes more for me as of now it becoming more woodier uh, at the base um, which is quite interesting so yeah so that creaminess i can i smelled uh, the strip again uh, the freshly one i can see that uh, creaminess is really playing around it it is am amping up and then going down now i can smell again the the tea tea thing um, not the tea note the combination I'm talking about so yeah it's uh, that's my first impression it's uh, uh, for me it's a uh, it's a home run as of now um it will be very interesting for me to give it full wearings um for me a full and final would be once i do my um at least 3 to 4 season uh, now is summer then fall then winter um so once i at least cover 3 4 um season then i will be really able to tell about the performance or how it developed if i was i able to pick any note further as of now it has mentioned it had mentioned about juniper berries i i have only experience with juniper berries with the lu blue the ac uh, because that is very greeny greenier and um, green herbaceous note as far as i understand i don't see i don't see any green and herbaceous quality to it but nevertheless citrus is is there at the at the at the back 
so hopefully whoever is watching have uh, may get some benefit out of it if they want to understand this fragrance um, especially in case of blind buy so you guys have a good day take care ciao